fellow tennis nerds and welcome to a closer look of Rafa Nadal's racket. This is not his uh, current design or cosmetic, but it's the same racket he's been using for years. And this belongs to Nikki. I've shown his collection in a previous video. It was a bit quick for each racket, so I'll do shorter videos for each and every racket in the collection. This is the Rafa frame. Uh, this is, was the time when he strung it with Pro Hurricane. He is now with RPM Blast. He's been changing gauge 130, 135 depending a little bit on the surface and stuff, uh, but 135 was his standard gauge. Has a personal sticker here, and uh, Nikki's dog Stark has chewed a part of his grip, which is a little bit of a shame because it is signed by Rafa, but luckily it's also signed here. Nikki has hit with Rafa in the past, and actually has a signed shirt as well. So this was from 2009. He has added a little bit of weight, but generally it's very close to the same specs. Uh, Rafa doesn't change too much of his specifications. He stays with around the 25.5 kilos. So let's put it on the swing weight machine, the head three in one and see the specs. Because I think I had a lot of feedback on one post. I did Marco, my friend, he's a racket collector. He collects some other stuff as well. He had one of the kind of first of Rafa's rackets, the first cosmetic, the original Rafa, the Aero Pro Drive original, as we call it. And people started asking about specs and stuff. And there were some misconceptions about the specs, like how heavy they were and how light they were and so on. So I think it's better we just show the strong specs uh, once and for all. He has added a little bit of weight, but that's a, pretty much it. So let's go. All right, so let's put this beauty on the three-in-one machine. Let's start with the static weight uh, with strings, with dampener. So this is all in on what his place. 336.7 grams, around 337 grams. So not so heavy. The thing is with this, it's not it's not super light either, but it, it definitely weight added to it. But when you add a lot of weight here, which you can learn more about in the Unstrung Customs and Tennis Nerd app, is to um, so that if you add a lot of weight here, the swing weight increases quite a lot. So the swing weight will be higher maybe than many rackets that are 337 grams because the balance point, which we will measure, but you can see the racket wants to balance like this. We can check the balance. So we're on the 33. Yeah, so it's almost 33.5 centimeters. 33.4, I would say. And that is about two points head light. That's generally quite even balance, which is rare, I would say. Nadal's coach, Carlos Moya, used to play with a very, very head heavy racket, and that's also pretty rare. So now we go to the swing weight. Yeah, 357. So the swing weight is quite high for a 337 gram racket, because a lot of the weight is in the hoop. And that works with how Rafa plays. He swings his racket, he wants that massive rotation, he wants the racket to really come through for extra spin, then you use a more polarized setup with more weight here. Rafa would not benefit from adding lots of weight here, that's more Bautista Gu Djokovic style to add weight here. Those are his specs. Uh, grip 2, beautiful Rafa, this was the Cortex version 2 when they added this, but this is just painted Cortex, so it's not actual Cortex, you can see on the other graph. They just painted it, uh, you can see that from quite afar I would say, so it's pretty easy to tell. So it's his original racket, the, the AeroPro Drive original, with painted Cortex on it for most of his years. They just updated the cosmetic, maybe added a bit of weight in case he needed that, he wanted to experiment, but, but generally he played with the same setup. They changed the strings uh, later on to RPM Blast for even more control. That's it for this video. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.